It is now 616 on this Wednesday night. And Betsy, the, the peak for that hurricane system would be when, approximately, would you say? Peak is uh, probably more toward fall, late summer, okay. early fall. September is always an interesting mm -hmm. one, uh, usually. Uh, and, and it's interesting for us, too. Why do we have to care about hurricanes here in Northeast Ohio? September is actually our rainiest month, and that is usually because we are on the receiving end of landfalling hurricanes. We get the inland rain from them. So it's always a, a trying time. June 1st to November 1st, that hurricane season. So we kind of nail it down into late August and early September is the peak. Temperatures over the next few hours, steady as she goes. We're going to be in the 50s. The rain? Also steady as she goes. That's one of the consistent things we have going for us in this forecast. Little storm system that is going through the Ohio Valley is actually impeding the progress of the dry air from the west. Uh, and I'll zoom in to show this to you a little bit better. We have some pretty pesky thunderstorms going through portions of Kentucky right now. But notice how we get this big push of moisture. And you can actually see rain developing here over Columbus, Zanesville area, up into uh, portions of Holmes and Tuscarawas County. It just kind of blossoms here. This is a little shot of energy that is coming out of the ahead of this dry air and that's actually holding up the progress of this entire thing. So now it looks like we've got a few hours of rain here to get through before we finally get into the little spits and sprinkles back in Indiana and whatnot. So that really does impact the Guardians this evening more than anything else. I know they're keeping a close eye on it, but it's basically wall to wall rain that is showing up on the Cleveland National Weather Service radar right now. Sprinkles and light showers out to the east. Meanwhile, farther west, we are getting some yellows the darker greens as shades indicating we're moderate to at times a good downpour coming down at this point. This will continue, as I mentioned, for the next few hours. And really, that doesn't do anything but really lay down a nice batch of rain for your gardens and your lawns. But it does have some impacts on the roads. Another beautiful day on the east side of Cleveland right now. Uh, but you can see just how wet the highways are at this point. We have seen a few little uh, fender benders and whatnot showing up on the uh, traffic map here. But no major slowdowns at this point. So if you do have plans to go out or if you have friends who are coming over or whatnot, folks still to come home from work, I do think the commute, the evening commute, the tail end of it at this point is still going fairly smoothly for us. Let's take a look at your national design our hour by hour forecast. Now this rain stays with us for the next few hours. It does clear out later on this evening and then overnight tonight. We'll really start to see that rain pull out. Just a few sprinkles left by the midnight hour. Tomorrow morning we will start with cloud cover and isolated sprinkle can't be completely ruled out, but I think most of us will be dry. We'll be in the upper 50s and low 60s to begin. The sun will come out tomorrow. That is some good news. So this rain that we're getting now will activate those uh, the growing conditions for tomorrow as the sun gets going. Temperatures tomorrow will likely make it back well into the 70s, and it does look like it's going to be a pretty nice afternoon for us. That is some good news. That light west southwesterly wind will stay with us. Uh, we might even have a little bit of a lake breeze, but I don't think that'll be too much of an issue. Friday morning, we could have some thunderstorms coming through. That's still kind of up in the air, but watch what happens by Friday afternoon. By noon, we are sitting in the 80s. And we are going to be feeling the heat, upper 80s to right around 90 degrees on Friday, the humidity going up too. On the back side of all of that, the Union Home Mortgage Marathon is taking place Sunday morning. It's going to be a muggy run. Temperatures now looking like they will be in the 60s before the mercury falls by Sunday afternoon and evening. So that's a big update in the forecast. So as we lay it all out in your Union Home Mortgage Outlook here, you can see that 90 coming in on Friday. Then we kind of take a little bit of a slide. Early next week, a refreshing 63. It's going to feel fantastic by the end of this stretch. And we're going to stay in the 70s for much of next week too. Russ, uh, um, Betsy Clean invoking well. Broadway shows in her forecast Ooh. tonight. <laughs> the sun will come out tomorrow. I'm going to do some tap dancing later on. Oh, okay. Nice. Give some clinics if you need any help. <laughs> Great. Thank you.